Before I get started, I just want to point out that the information that I give you in this video is based on my own personal opinion and in no way suggests or substitutes professional advice. Now this video is a follow-up from my previous video, which was called Cutting and Shaping Plates for Mosaics. Now if you haven't seen that one and you'd like to, I'll put a link up top for you. I'm going to be looking very briefly at some of the masks that are available in the marketplace. I won't be going into any detail, but it's just going to be a good starting point for you if you're interested in buying one. I'm going to be looking at masks with classifications N95 and P2, which are the minimum requirements to filter out silica, but only down to a certain size, so keep that in mind. I wouldn't be purchasing a mask unless it has one of those classifications in, because silica is 100 times smaller than a grain of sand. So it's very important that you get a good mask. The mask you buy is going to be dependent on how much you're going to be working with silica and also the industry you're going to be working in. Now, it's important that the mask is comfortable, but it's more important that the mask fits well because if it doesn't, it's going to be rendered useless. So anyway, let's get into the video and have a look. Well, I'm just in Bunnings now looking at P2 masks, which are the equivalent of the N95. They come in packs of three. These are cheap and some come with carbon. So there's quite a few different ones here. It just depends what you're looking for, whether you want to buy them in a pack of 10 or whether you want to just buy three or one. But there's quite a few and then you go up to more expensive ones as well. That's the one I've got, is that one there. And that's around about 45. So you have quite a few to choose from. I've just been surfing the web for uh, disposable masks and uh, I came across this particular site called Big Safety. Now I've never had any dealings with them so I don't know what they're like or their products that they're selling. Uh, but I just thought this was a really good starting point because they have uh, very clear descriptions about the masks, their photos are very good and they uh, seem to have a good product range. So I thought this was really good to start with. Now. These prices here are not for individual masks. They're actually the prices for the quantity. So you can buy them in boxes of 10 or 12. So just keep that in mind. Now they have different masks. For instance, this one down here has a uh, mesh coating on it, which helps to hold the shape of the mask. This one here has a uh, like a molded shape in the nose point to help hold the shape of it around your nose. And then you go to the cheaper one, which is this one here, which has a thin piece, piece of metal or plastic up the top here that you just uh, push down around your nose and that holds the shape there. This one here doesn't have any uh, breathing area here for carbon filters or anything like that, so they can probably get a little bit warm and uncomfortable at times. When you are shopping on masks, just keep in mind, don't shop on price shop for what you think is going to be comfortable and also what is going to suit your needs. Now the one thing about shopping online is that you can't try the masks on. However in saying that you probably can't try the masks on in the stores either. Well certainly not the ones I was looking at that only came in packs of three. And I suppose the reason for that is that they don't want you breathing in and out of the mask and then putting it back in its box and then someone else comes along and buys it. So. I suppose from a safety point of view, that's, that's really quite a good thing. But you are going to have to go by what you think is going to be right, or at least uh, the manufacturer's description of the mask. So now what uh, we'll do is, uh, this one here is the one I'm just sort of looking at that uh, seems reasonably priced. Uh, it has a carbon filter in it. And all these masks here that I'm looking at are uh, P2, which means it's the equivalent of the ones sold in the US which are classed as N95. 
So let's click on this. And here we are here. So we'll go down to the details. Now this disposable P2 mask uh, with valve active carbon filter was used in the Hendra virus outbreak. If you remember some time ago, there was a virus released called Hendra virus. Well, this particular mask was used in that. Uh, it protects against nuisance levels of organic vapors in addition to the P2 rating. It has the extra pro valve airflow, which is this piece here. Uh, it's also easily worn with glasses and goggles, which is a good thing because I wear glasses and certainly if I'm going to wear protective eyewear, it's got to fit with the mask as well. So hopefully the, the same eyewear that you have works with this particular mask if you were to buy this one. It's contoured for comfort, so that's also a good point. And that's what I mentioned earlier. If it states that, it's, I would think it would have to be better than one that doesn't mention comfort at all. It's durable and lightweight. Uh, it's protection from nuisance odors and organic vapors, latex and staple free, which is a good thing because I found that when masks use staples, the actual strap can pull out from underneath the staple. And when I've tried to put it back in, I can't. So I've even tried to re-staple the mask and then the, the staple just pulls out. By not having staples in it, I see that as an added bonus. Uh, it has uh, Australian New Zealand um, standards, 1716, and it comes in a box of 12. So box of 12 at $34.10, including GST. That would be pretty good value, and I'm not going to work that out for you because my mathematics is totally lousy without a calculator. Now, the US Center for Disease Control recommends N95 NIOSH. I presume, presume NIOSH is, is how I've said that is correct. I'm not exactly sure the pronunciation, but I presume that's right. Uh, approved mask to prevent the spread of swine flu. The P2 mask is the Australian standards equivalent of the US N95, which is what I said earlier. Now the reviews on this seem to be quite good out of, uh, for this company, 970 client reviews, 96%, and the product has received 15 reviews at 100%. Now, when I'm shopping for anything online or in stores, I like to see if there is any reviews on the product that I'm looking at buying because I really uh, like to get a second opinion and the reviews are good because they're generally going to be honest in what they're saying. Well, I like to think that they are anyway. This is just a really uh, good start for you uh, in choosing a, a mask. So go online, whether you're in the US or Australia, have a look at the different websites, uh, see and do your own due diligence. Just don't go by what I say uh, or anyone else says because you need to get what's right for you and also what's going to be comfortable for you as well. I will see you on the next one. Enjoy.